Hey, it's GTSS, and in this video, I'll be going over and giving a short tutorial on the Windows 10 Ink Workspace new feature in the anniversary update. So, the first thing you need to know is that if you don't have a touchscreen computer like me, it's not enabled by default. You'll have to right click on the taskbar and click on Show Windows Ink Workspace button, and then you'll get the Ink Workspace. If you've got a touchscreen, I believe this is enabled by default. Once you've got it, go ahead and click it and here it is now usually it has a really nice uh, really nice animation but it does have a couple of bugs just because it's still in the insider preview so here it is there's really not a whole lot to it but I did want to go over the features so first thing uh, new sticky note app um, it's pretty good it's definitely an improvement over the old sticky notes app because you can change the color you've got Cortana insights um, and in terms of minimizing uh, it's just it's just designed for um, Windows 10, the Metro UI. Uh, so it's 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 a good sticky note app. Nothing fancy, really nothing fancy. I wish it would snap uh, in corners, but it doesn't do any of that. It's just a really basic sticky notes app. But it's nice to see uh, the old one be replaced because that one was very old. Now, even if you don't have a touch screen, I think there are some useful features. Sketchpad is definitely one of them. Um, this is a default picture, but obviously you can go ahead and make a new one. I just have to find it. Boom. It's the trash button to delete it. So, you know, if you have a touchscreen, this is obviously way easier, but, um, you know, it's like, it's like a Windows 10 universal version of paint. Um, it's, it's not really much, but if you are drawing stuff, I guess it can be pretty useful. It does snap. I. Uh, your drawings like this so it's it's useful not too useful again without a touchscreen but if you have a touchscreen this can be pretty useful actually I've got to admit so that's that and of course these all open full screen by default because again they're assuming you have a touchscreen uh, then we've got the screen sketch now this is really useful even if you don't have a touchscreen because it immediately takes a screenshot of your picture of your desktop without the Windows Ink thing and you can draw on it, erase things, crop. Even without a touchscreen, it's really quick to take a picture, a screenshot this way. Um, and you can even just write on it. I don't know what I'm writing, but as you can see, um, the screenshot thing, the screenshot functionality, it works pretty well. And then you can share it or save it just onto the desktop. Next up, we've got recently used apps. These are just universal Windows apps that are optimized for uh, touch dis touch input. I mean, really not that useful in my opinion. I mean, who's going to click on the Get Started app more than a few times? Especially in Insider Preview, you only click on it to see what's new. There's really no use. Uh, but I do think that uh, the Sticky Notes, Sketchpad, and screen, screen Sketch, especially Screen Sketch, it's like a tongue twister, are really, really useful, and I would definitely... I definitely think these are good additions to the Windows 10 Anniversary Update. A couple of bugs, but they're not easily reproducible, and they're not really such a big deal. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and be sure to subscribe for more Windows 10 coverage. Thanks for watching.